Hey Herbert, how's it going? This is Hundo, and did you notice by the way, I never misspoken your name ever since you told me. Happens one more time and we're done. Okay, so I have not forgotten your name. I did thought of your name when I was sleeping yesterday, man. I'm, like, I'm never gonna forget this name again. Okay, so I got a pretty special truck for you, man. It is a classic, it is a 1500. This is a crew cab, and this does have the six and a half foot box. So six foot four in the Dodge world. Um, now we do have obviously a really nice uh, nice color on this one too. It's actually got some really nice chrome uh, 20 inch wheels. It is a classic Again, I mean the nice thing on this one too and there's your six and a half foot box if you ever notice uh, Let me see if I can find okay here. Here we go. Here's a classic now if you notice actually no that won't be this will be the best example because that one's a quad cab So they all come with the six and a half. Here's a crew cab Crew cab, if you notice, that's kind of where you can tell on these Rams is you have such little space behind the actual, uh, in front of the wheel there versus how much space you have right here, right? Now this one particularly, it is fresh. It just came in. It's actually currently in the shipping mode. So I actually won't even be able to show you the nice 8.4 inch touchscreen and all the backup camera options and all that stuff just because uh, the techs have to do essentially a PDI on this thing. Now this does have the dual exhaust. It does have the full tow package with the wiring, mind you. Um, backup camera. Now it doesn't have a liner in the back, but then again, it is a nice back end here just uh, for any kind of towing, anything you need. Now these aren't those 10 plies. I haven't forgot about that, okay. Um, but really nice on the inside. Now I know we talked about leather, man. We do leather installs like you would not believe. Okay, so we do lots of them. It's relatively inexpensive too, so I can definitely make sure this will have black leather and it'll look just like factory. Uh, we actually do it to our showroom vehicles as well. Okay, now these are gonna be breakaway mirrors, so kind of depending on what's going on, you're not gonna have to worry about any kind of damage. Uh, really nice color though, eh? Now, in the, back, in the front here, sorry, it is gonna be a manual adjustment on both sides. And if you notice, Hundo was not lying. Shipping mode, okay? Uh, this does have the automatic windows in the front. This does also have your automatic lights. I just, oops, sorry, turned them on so you can actually see it, right? Now, we do have some Bluetooth functions. Nice little LCD screen back there. And again, this is the 8.4. It just will not work until the shipping mode is actually out. I think it might be a fuse that they take out from factory. Um, it's in two wheel right now and I've been just fine. If you notice, we got some pretty shitty terrain over here. Um, I've had no issues whatsoever. You even got a tow haul mode. And the nice thing is, two things. Number one, this is gonna be a 5.7 Hemi with the MDS. So it's actually gonna have the ability when you're on the highway to actually shut down in a four cylinder. So you're actually saving even more fuel on the highways than you would the B6. This also has the 392 gears. So when we're talking about Rams and we're talking about towing and Hemis, the 392 is the cream of the crop. That's the best gearing ratio that you can get for maximum towing. Now this does have a four lock setting in a four low. I don't like to put it in the four lock because we have a lot of tight turns and you know what happens in trucks when you do small little tight turns, it kind of jerks up and down a little bit. Um, USBs in the back. This is going to be a nice little bench seat in the front so you can flip it up and have six. And this would be covered in leather too, by the way, uh, on a leather install. You do have your assist and SOS buttons as well. You can actually turn the screen off just say if you're doing lots of highway driving you want to keep things nice and uh, uh nice and clean but glove box underneath right here we have a little bit of storage up here as well it's about minus one right now in edmonton but uh no these handle very well i mean obviously when it comes to the classics for what we're we're trying to accomplish payment wise like if you're open to a five seven box so a five foot seven short box your options definitely do open up a bit more. I could probably get you something closer in line with, you know, like the Express uh, with the painted bumpers or even, um, you know, like a Warlock, like the 22 that you guys had bought, right? So, I mean, at the end of the day, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of options when you go to that short box, right? Now, if you don't need the back seats to be this big, you don't need a crew cab, I can do a quad cab and I can get you a five, seven, bo uh, six, four box uh, uh, all day long. Okay. So definitely let me know kind of how that, um, 
how that works for you, if that's something that you're able to kind of adjust. Uh, if you are, again, I can send you an option within less than 10 minutes. Um, but this one was not easy to find because you don't find too many crew cabs with the six and uh, six foot four boxes, right? Um, heat, obviously, I mean, it's a Ram, man. These things, they almost work too good. Um, I find at the end of the day, it gets too hot and I usually have to turn things down. So definitely not something you're going to have an issue with being all the way out in uh, the Northern Territories, right? Um, now, another thing too is obviously when it comes to handling, right? So these definitely do handle very nice very smooth um and again these aren't the classics of of kind of yesteryear these are you know all new this is a 23 just so you know so a 2023 um but in general it's a very easy truck to live with man and they're very reliable right so very very reliable very good on uh fuel with this mds this uh one that shuts down into four cylinders on the highway um but overall, I mean, I'm really curious to see what your thoughts are going to be on this truck. You can give me a shout. Remember, at my cell, 780-932-7597. And see, look at that. I got all seasons on, and this thing stopped on a dime. Okay. So let's let this person park. And look, there's one of my deliveries. So electric Nissan Leaf, believe it or not. Then I got my other heavy duty behind there. I don't know if you can see that big silver night edition. Heavy duty diesel. All right there, buddy. I remember my first time parking a truck, eh? Come on. Yeah, you got it. All righty. Okay. Let me get past this guy. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. Um, but that is all she wrote. Okay, there's that nice little gear, gear knob for the shifter. Um, but let me know what you think, Herbert. Honestly, I really, really do appreciate uh, our talks that we've had so far. Now, one thing I do want to let you know, I did get those pictures. They were very nice. Believe it or not, that's not a Lariat, eh? It's an actual XLT Sport Edition, right? So just wanted to clarify that for you. Um, so give me a call. Let me know what you think. 780-932-7597. It's Hundo with Southtown Chrysler.